I wanna welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Matthew chapter 18, verse 10 says, quote, their angels is a support for guardian angels. Now, let me give you a little context here. Matthew chapter 18, as in a host of other passages, you have these religious leaders who are debating and disputing the identity of Jesus, questioning his validity as the Messiah. Ironic, he's multiplied food, he's walked on water, he's healed people, but they still can't get it. Nonetheless, what does Jesus do? Jesus takes a little child in a group, placed on his knee, and says that the kingdom of heaven, one must have the faith as a child, this simplicity of he, Jesus, as the answer, our faith and understanding he's the only answer to our sin problem. Now, what does he say? Their angels represent them. Now, as per the question, a lot of people said, ah, that is proof we have a quote unquote guardian angel. Let me kind of pull back for the concept of guardian angel, but yet stay faithful to the text. Jesus said, they have angels. He, he admitted it, right? It's, it's right there in the Bible, so we can't dispute that. Here's the thing I find fascinating. It may sound unrelated to the question, but it actually is. In the book of Exodus, we have God giving humanity, Moses in particular, the instructions for building the earthly tabernacle. We're then told that it is a picture of the heavenly tabernacle as described in the book of Hebrews. Then you get in the book of Revelation chapter 11 and it talks about uh, the famous ark of God that is in the heavenly temple. Where are you getting at with this? What I'm getting at is in the construction of buildings and the use of artifacts, we see that on earth there's a replication of that which is in heaven. And I think what Jesus is telling us in Matthew chapter 18 isn't that we have a guardian angel, he actually is saying that what is happening on the earth, there is a replication or a picture of within the heavenly realm. Let me add to that. In Luke chapter 16, remember the rich man and Lazarus? When Lazarus dies, he is carried into Abraham's bosom, you guessed it, by the angel. So I don't think it's in terms of a guardian angel where we have an angelic host that protects us and defends us. I think it is more that there are those angelic beings that somehow God has assigned to represent, picture us, and go before us. It's somewhat the same, but not quite. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.